Hey guys, you're watching Z1 and Only. My name is AJ, and welcome to lesson three of School of Redstone. And in lesson three, we're going to learn about the RS Norlatch. And there's a cow. But the RS Norlatch is a very useful tool, uh, along with the T flip flop that we learned about in the last lesson. And uh, an RS Norlatch is something that can be reset, which is where RS comes from. So, if we get a button, this is the simplest RS nor latch. It's the most commonly used one, and it's the easiest layout to explain. So, there are many different layouts for an RS nor latch, which we'll go through, but for explanatory reasons, this is the easiest one. So, we're going to show you how to build it, but first, uh, we have the block connected to the input, with a torch coming out, going to another block, connected to a torch uh, that has an input coming back out connected in the same block so what happens is if we then switch press this switch or this switch sorry wrong one if we press this switch it then turns this in output on and if we press this switch it turns that one on and uh, this is done because this um, not gate if you like uh, is reversed so when we hit this uh, again, one one. If we hit this, it inverts the output, but then inverts it again, powering this block, uh, and then keeping it on, similar to a T flip flop. And then we push this one, it inverts it, taking no power into this block, which then makes a torch go back to its default on stage, coming back and powering this block. So, what this means is that we have a input and a reset button. So you can have multiple inputs which are used in combination locks and then you have a reset button uh, to reset it. So input, reset. And uh, there are many different layouts for it. Another layout or a more compact layout but slightly more difficult to see is this one. So if you put a button on each side we then, run one again, that's a reset one, we then put the input and it turns the output on and then we have a reset. So we can hook this up here to an output. So now it's reset, we then turn the input on and then we can't turn it on again, we can't turn it off like a T flip flop. To turn it back off we have to press the reset button and it resets it back. Our third layout is a cool layout, it's funky, but it's useful because it's only one block wide. So if you're in a very compact space, this is the best one for you. And uh, we have a, a block at the bottom with a torch and then a piece of redstone on the other side. And then on top, two blocks, redstone above it and a redstone torch. So it's very simple, uh, but it's the same principle. We have our input here and then we have our well that's the reset button then we have our input so I got that I get it uh, mixed up but yeah if we hit the reset button again we can have the output to a piston we then push the input button it goes out no matter how many times we push it again it doesn't do anything we need to hit the push the reset button so this is a more commonly used memory cell uh, and we'll go more into memory cells later on in the series but we're going to show you how to make it it's very simple to make and I'm sure you can do it from this view here but if not we have our two blocks connected up and then from that one back out and it's as simple as just putting two buttons on. So input, reset. Simple as that. And uh, I have something set up at the end here. Now it's not the most practical use for an RS nor latch, but it does explain what we have. We have it's just expanded um, the new there. But if you can imagine, if we had a house build here. 
we can then turn it on. The door is the door is opened, and then we come to the reset button. We hit the reset button, and the door closes. But now we can't open the door again from the inside because this isn't the input. This is the reset button. So it's great if you had an adventure map and to move on to the next level. You push the button, the door opens, and instead of having a a button here, it could be hooked up to a pressure plate. So we hit the reset button. Oh, look at that, it's broken. Okay, so we hit the reset button. So yeah, we're in an adventure map. We've just completed the level. We hit the button. And the door opens. We then go through the door and walk over a pressure plate and the door shuts. And now we can't get back into anywhere that we're not meant to get back into. And... From the top here, as you can see, this is just an expanded RS Norlatch here, like what we saw before. And instead of the buttons being hooked up to the blocks, it's just hooked up to the redstone uh, signal instead. In fact, it'd be easier to explain if that was like that. And um, yeah, so the input comes from here, and I've got an auto save. I should cut that out. So by the auto save, and then we've got the output coming back round to the reset button. So yeah, I don't think I need to build it again. If I just scroll over these, uh, if you like uh, what you see, hit the like button. If you want to see more, press the subscribe button. As I say every episode or every lesson, if you have a problem that you need to solve and you can't find a way. If you leave a comment in the comment section below, I should be able to fix it for you. And if it's a big enough problem that I feel that many people are going to have the same problem with, I'll make a whole lesson out of it. So, thank you very much guys, and we shall see you in the next lesson. Bye!